What's up guys, welcome back to Atlas, awesome news for Atlas. Warehouses have gone live, they're out now. We've got the new patch with the warehouses, some updates to the farmhouses, um, and a few other bits and pieces in the patch notes which we'll get to. We'll go through the patch notes quickly, read the message from the devs, and then we will jump into the game and see what the warehouse is like in game. And if you like these kind of videos guys, if you find them helpful or interesting, then give them a thumbs up and uh, let me know you're into it and uh, yeah why not hit the subscribe button while you're there if you do enjoy these videos and the gameplay videos I do weekly along with live streams and things like that so uh, yeah I'd appreciate it let's get on with it ahoy pathfinders we're excited to bring you phase two of the new features we are currently rolling out expanding from the farmhouse system we introduced last patch warehouses are a new structure type that players may build at the smithy we are shifting stone farmhouses and warehouses to a new skill, advanced automation, which can be found in the construction tree, requires esoteric of building. Warehouses can be used in conjunction with farmhouses to automatically collect and store the resources gathered from farmhouses. Gone are the days of having to tediously move resources to and from your storage. Simply craft and place the warehouse and it will begin gathering from all farmhouses within a 500 meter radius ever get confused by which of your storage boxes has which resources with its large storing capacity you can now easily access all your resources in one place any basic resource and alloy can be put into the warehouse it will not store finished goods we've also made a few tweaks to improve and balance farmhouses again these systems are still a work in progress and we're continuing to change and develop on farmhouses and warehouses as we examine gameplay and receive player feedback the warehouse update also includes an explosive barrels rework and a couple of minor balance changes for Puckles and Army of Damned. So yeah, they've been quite busy. I'm happy to see this. I hope um, some of the issues they go through in this fix some of the issues we're having, at least in PV with lag and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, if not, I hope they pull on the harness a little bit here and get some of the um, issues sorted with the performance of the game. But this is a good patch. They've got some exploits fixed again. They're being active, putting in the works. So it's good to see. Let's get on to the patch notes. New skill advanced automation. Added advanced automation to construction tree. Requires us to build building. Costs 12 skill points. New warehouse and stone farmhouse added to this skill. New feature warehouse. New structure type warehouse may be built at the smithy. Warehouse is a structure that automatically collects resources from farmhouses in range. Will not collect wood and thatch which is fuel for farmhouses, gathers from farmhouses within 500 metres, gather rate is 5% of the farmhouse's inventory every 10 minutes. Warehouse may not be placed closer than 2 kilometres to another warehouse, warehouse must be placed within 30 metres of the shore, warehouse takes thatch or wood as fuel, more than one warehouse can hit the same farm, warehouses have 40 storage slots, um, stack size of 10k, weight of 50k, health of 40k, and they are not taxable. For reference, one foundation is two meters. So there's a lot there, pretty cool. Um, I like the fact they've got to be near the shoreline, I think that's going to help out a lot and sort of reduce the amount they're going to get spammed everywhere. Pretty cool that it doesn't collect wood and thatch, but you'll also see it requires wood or thatch for itself to work. And I imagine that what will happen is eventually your farmhouse will start filling up wood and thatch. So you're going to have to go and still manually at least take out your wood and thatch to prevent that happening. But you could probably leave it you know a while before you need to do that i also like the fact that uh, they've got to be two kilometers apart the warehouses so that's going to limit the amount of these getting spammed even further as well as being close to the shoreline because you're going to have to work around your neighbors and things like that so yeah i think that's going to prevent some of the spam of these buildings explosive barrels instant detonation option removed setting the detonation timer is now a separate action from light and the fuse detonation timer can now be set and viewed in inventory the fuse is automatically lit when a carried barrel is placed added diffuse option any player can diffuse an explosive barrel can now be used as ammo in cannons large cannons and catapults duplication bug fixed so i thought they'd fixed that bug already but i guess it didn't work um and yeah hopefully that is fixed now 
Um, it was a big issue. It's pretty cool. You can now fire these out of cannons. That's going to be interesting. Um, pretty cool that when they're placed, they're now lit. Um, and I like the fact that anyone can defuse a barrel now. Um, yeah, it makes sense. That's a thing. That's pretty good. Impact behavior for barrels fired out of cannons. Um, explode instantly on impact with ship structures, players, or creatures. In water barrels float for six seconds before sinking. They explode when their timer expires. Otherwise, barrels explode after their timers expire. Um, tossed barrels are the same, but they don't explode instantly on impact. Damage immunity. Placed barrels are immune to ranged damage. That sucks. Carried barrels are immune to all damage. That sucks. Destroyed barrels no longer explode unless as part of a chain reaction with another barrel. So yeah, placed barrels are immune to ranged damage and carried barrels are immune to all damage. I think that sucks in PvP. Like, why can't you... If someone's walking at your base with a barrel, you should be able to shoot the barrel and blow it up. And the barrels placed are immune to range damage kind of sucks. I feel like that's... I don't know why you would do that. I think they should be able to be damaged by anything. You should be able to shoot a barrel in the distance if you can see it. Why not? This is important. <laughs> Known issue. When attempting to throw a barrel while on a ship, the barrel will drop when the player is standing and then explode. We are working out how to resolve this issue and we'll send out a patch for it as soon as we can. Yeah, be careful that, guys. <laughs> it's the last thing you want. Farmhouses. Farmhouses can no longer be placed in water. Farmhouses now only transfer a single stack of resource into players of entry per transfer interaction. Increased distance requirement between farmhouse placement from 120 to 200 meters. Farmhouse harvest rate reduced by 25% overall. Harvest interval increased from 15 to 60 seconds. Gathers one quarter as often. Harvest amount increased. Gathers three times as much. So that's pretty cool. I think that's a good thing. Stone farmhouse has been moved to advanced automation and skill tree. Updated resource cost of constructing a stone farmhouse changed 360 metal to 180 alloy. Added 80 organic paste as additional cost. Reduced the draw distance of farmhouse from 1k to 400 meters. Reduced health of basic farmhouse from 30 to 20k. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They've reduced the draw distance of the farmhouse. Hopefully, that's going to go towards helping with some of the lag issues that we've been experiencing recently because it's definitely been a thing since the farmhouses were released so maybe that's part of the thing and that is why they're doing that miscellaneous reduced npc cost on puckles by 50 percent army of damned can now be damaged by swivel guns that is really cool we experimented a little bit with this last season trying to do different things with the swivel guns and setting up little traps with swivel guns um and then realized the swivel guns didn't damage them <laughs> so yeah this is pretty cool we'll have to try some of that stuff out again now but there you go, guys. There's some. There's the patch notes and uh, the little message that the devs put out. Some cool screenshots. I do think they look pretty cool, but we'll take a better look in-game now. All right, let's get one of these warehouses crafted then. So, okay, what do you call it? Search that. Put the stuff in already. Now you can see it's alloy, fiber, hide, organic paste, stone, thatch, and wood. And, um, yeah, not too bad. Pretty standard stuff. Let's get it crafted. Now you can also see if you come into structures, crafting, um, the the farmhouse, that the the stone and wood farmhouse have been changed. Now you can see there the wood one's much cheaper than the stone one, which um, you know when they released the farmhouse, it was weird that you, that you could get them both together. It was like there's no point in the wood one really, but now you know the wood one's cheaper. You get it earlier you get it in the esoteria of building you have to get an extra 12 points and get advanced automation for the stone one so that's pretty cool um right where did that go I'll take a little stack of wood with me ah well there you go guys you might not have seen that yet we definitely won't have seen that i've not put the video out yet there's our new marketplace i've just built it last week and um yeah the the speed build video of it and a full tour of it is coming out on monday hopefully and uh, yeah, that's the first time anyone's seen it in here. But you know, I can't avoid it. I want to place a warehouse down by it. So yeah, you get a little sneak peek of it. I'm not going inside though. You'll have to wait for the video to see it and see how I built it. Patreon's got to see some pictures of it when I built it before um, it's been announced. So yeah, if you want to become a patron, links in the description below for things like that. Right, let's get this placed. 
So I'm thinking here somewhere. Um, now it doesn't show you the actual radius of um, the warehouse. Like you can't see, you know, what um, is going to be within the radius. I want it here somewhere. We've got a farmhouse there. You can just about see it in the tree line, and we've got one sort of up the hill a little bit next to the cliff face. So they both should be in range. Um, and we're obviously next to the shoreline, so that's not a problem. They've got to be 30 metres to the shore. Is there a flat bit here I can put it on? That would be cool, but it's a bit a bit far over. Uh, yeah, that'll do. We'll go with that. Boom. So there you go. It looks pretty cool. I do like the look of it. Um, I actually really fond of these new structures. I wasn't sure at first. I think they, or I thought they was going to take a lot away from the game, but I think they do more good than they do bad. <laughs> And, um, yeah, they look cool as well. So it is a nice thing. I think they've got to get on top of the um, caps from there and make sure they can't be spammed everywhere. So, yeah, let's take a look. Uh, connected farms 8. Okay. Well, I haven't got 8 farms. So that's obviously, it's obviously picking up other people's farms because that's not mine over there. That's my neighbours. There's our other one in the distance. So you can just see it through the tree line. Like I said, we've got one to the left. It's picking up eight somehow, so it's got a massive range. That's pretty obvious. Um, okay. Let's put some wood in there. So you can do a click now, but it's blacked out. Stop collecting. So I guess we've just got to leave it. It takes ten minutes before it will gather 5% of the farmhouse's inventory. Oh, we've got a cobra coming in. Oh no. Oh, oh, it didn't die. Ah! Have faith! Oh no, you got me. Hello? God, I thought they weren't going to kill it. That would have been embarrassing. Yeah. These things are a godsend. So yeah, there we go. We'll leave it 10 minutes. We'll see what they gather. See how it goes. Both the farmhouses have stopped right now because they're full. So we'll see if the warehouse can pull enough resources out of them to be able to turn them back on again. They don't take thatching wood, so we are going to have to collect the thatching wood still. But everything else it should pull in there. Um, I've seen a few people mention, and I agree with this, I think it'd be cool if you could see what resources the farmhouse was collecting in its area and deselect certain ones or select certain ones so for example if you don't want it to pick up loads of berries you could turn off fruit gathering um, if you didn't want loads of wooden thatch or fiber for some reason you could you know choose one of them to turn off or all of them um, so you could just get it to gather metal or just gather stone or just gather wood etc i think that would be a really cool addition to it um, alongside obviously the warehouse and the warehouse would just pull everything all the farmhouses are pulling so you could have a farmhouse gathering wood a farmhouse gathering metal a farmhouse gathering a bit of everything I think that would be pretty cool so yeah I'd like to know what you guys think of that I know a few people have commented and that's where I got that, that from that I've, I've read that from other people I think, and I agree it would be a good idea oh actually while I am waiting let's just see if the farmhouses actually say anything because it says there that there's eight farmhouses connected, but I have no idea which ones. I'm assuming this is in range. It doesn't say anything on there, though. No. I can start that up, but it is full. Let's do that. So it's on triple seven nine. So it's basically on 8k. That's oh, almost on 8k. But yeah, it definitely doesn't tell you if it's connected to a warehouse. Maybe the efficiency changes. Maybe if that was on a lower efficiency, it would have shown that um, when the warehouse connected, it went up to 1. But that was already on um, 1.0 on efficiency, so I couldn't tell you. This is what I've been doing until the warehouse, and I'm sure a lot of other people have. Because the resource box doesn't affect its efficiency. And obviously you can just stack loads of stuff in it. So yeah, it's a really handy workaround until the warehouse was out. And uh, yeah, I'll probably leave that there. Because like I said, you're going to have to still empty wood and thatch out of that anyway. And occasionally you probably are going to have to empty the, the farmhouses anyway. Because um, yeah, like this isn't going to completely pull everything all the time. 
There we go. Oh, okay, there we go. So it's pulled in its first load. So 5% of the farmhouses it can reach. Um, okay, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty good haul. Mixed bag there. Let's go and see if this back one actually had anything taken. I'll have to check that and edit it, and I'll put it on the screen somewhere now if um, it did. I did check, though, earlier. I can't remember what number it was. Hey, pig, stop pushing me. Let's go check the other one. This was on 779. Yeah, that's definitely took a few hundred weight out of it. So the issue is going to be the um, wood, really. Like You can have a lot of thatch, obviously it's quite light, but you're still going to have to make sure you come in empty your wood. Um, I will come and empty these later anyway and give everything a fresh start and see how long it goes for before it um, all stops. I do think with the changes I've made to the farmhouses though it's going to make it sync up a lot better and probably they are going to be able to keep farming for a lot longer if you clear them out now with the new warehouses um, and then leave them for a while. They probably go for quite some time before they need emptying. Um, you know, they gather more now, like as in each tick they gather more resources, but the ticks are more spread out. So it should allow the um, warehouses to keep up with them a little bit, even though they only pull 5% every 10 minutes. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it all works. Can't really get, because all the trees, get a good picture of how far away that other um, farmhouse is. It's got to be 500 metres. It's got to be at least on the edge. Um, you know, if it is just that range, it must be right on the edge over there. I've got a feeling it is in range. Like I said, I'll check the numbers um, in editing and I'll let you know if it did pull it or not. But there you go, guys. There's the warehouses. I'm actually pretty impressed with them. I think they look pretty cool. I like the like Western vibe they've got. Yeah, they've they've changed my mind on what I think to these new prefabs. Other than the fact I do feel they need a cap on how many you can place, I think the new changes they've just done are probably gonna um, fix that issue that I don't like of you know the, them getting spammed everywhere. I think the way they've done these changes is gonna prevent a lot of that. Um, and overall, you know, especially for PvP, I think this is a good thing. I completely understand in PvP you would want um, a much faster paced um, game and getting rid of some of the grind is definitely going to achieve that so yeah I'm, I, I think it's good I can't wait to play around with it a bit more god damn these are killing everything um, yeah I can't wait to see how these develop and what other things they do to these prefabs and like I said in the patch notes with the um, having the automated construction um, thing in the smithy be interesting to see what they add to that later on maybe we're gonna get some more things along these lines but yeah I'm pretty happy with it I'd love to know what you guys think to it as always if you enjoy these videos give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know and if you do like these types of videos and you want to see some gameplay from Atlas and other survival games and a bit of Star Citizen if that's your thing live streams all that kind of stuff hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it Join the Discord, get involved on there. You can check out what we've got for sale in our marketplace. Um, we've only just stocked it with a few things at the moment. Definitely going to be adding to that and um, getting more interesting things on there. Animal breeding in the future, things like that. Check out the Merchants Guild in there and you can see the other traders within the EU PvE server at least. And yeah, all the links are down below if you want to check that stuff out. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was interesting and enjoyable. And I'll see you in the next one.